Man, every time I post videos talking about uh, this particular topic, man, there's always a woman that jumps in the comments and says, that ain't true. But now we have black women that are catching on and realizing that they have been lied to. And the people that lied to you was the ones that swore up and down they loved you. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man when i tell you that the word of the most high Yah is undefeated it's undefeated and people oftentimes don't want to hear the word of the most high Yah where they are comfortable living a lie in their feelings and their emotions and their opinions Man, the word says that I will have that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, and give the adversary no occasion to speak reproachfully. Gives you the order of business of how you need to prioritize your life as a woman to prosper. So I'm going to go ahead and play that beautiful clip because we have to bring the tapes to shut up the naysayers. You sit down somewhere, you sit back and watch because you've been lied to, you've been duped, you've been brainwashed, you've been conditioned. Roll that footage. This mental, this thought that it's too late. Yes. Because I yes. think that I'm a millennial and like millennial women were really set up for the okie doke because they told us from when we were little, don't depend on anybody, make sure you get your own, always be independent, go to college, get an education, don't have a bit, put your, don't put, don't put a man before your, like we were hammered. The messaging was go to college, have something that you can stand on and then think about a man and a baby. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us did that. And what that did was it made our, made us older entering motherhood or, you know, yeah. like the, our, we started thinking about making a family later. And then I feel like we just got shamed on the back end. And we were like, oh, wait yeah. a minute, but I thought this is what we were supposed right. to do. So now you see, uh, I'm not making this up. This is real. You got women acknowledging that that whole independent woman thing was a hustle. It was a, 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 a strategy of Hasatan to cause more and more women to be displaced outside of a family unit. You gotta think about this. Think about how many uh, think about how many middle-aged women are out there saying, I don't know why I'm not married. I'm successful. I got my own. I'm educated. I drive a nice car. You got middle-aged women out there that are well beyond birthing years are displaced outside of a family. Men want nothing to do with them. And I told you, man, just like Eve took the bait of Hasatan hook, line, and sinker in the garden and then use those same tactics that the serpent used to deceive her, she used on Adam. But in this context, man, women took the bait, hook, line, and sinker on this independent, you know, woman, and it backfired. It's backfired on a lot of women. See, I'm a father. I have a daughter. I don't raise my daughter to be independent. I raise my daughter according to what the word says. When my daughter leaves home, it's because a man, I, I, I've given her to her husband. So she's not out here uncovered. You can't be, You let me be honest with you. You cannot be independent and say you want a provider. You cannot be independent and say you need a protector. You cannot be independent and say you need a leader. And this woman just, just reveals this in her testimonies. The most high Yah's will for you as a woman was to be a helpmeet and to be interdependent. Interdependent. 
inside of a union of marriage. And this doggone uh, agenda Hasatan sold you that a lot of your mothers, your aunties, and your grandmas bought into. It's failed you. It has failed you. And you got to think, uh, a man, your, your, your years that you were, uh, had very fruitful soil, a lot of you spent it away uh, in 304 ho activity, harlot activity. Jumping from boyfriend to boyfriend, ringing up them bodies, one night stands, girls nights, going out, you know, going to other girls' bachelorette parties, getting whored out. You've wasted, you've wasted your years. And now 40 years old, 45 years old, 38 years old, you want a man to come along and pay a high price for you? And, and, and you barely, you like a lot of you can't even produce seed. You can't, if a man plants his seed in you, life won't come forth because you're hit, you, you damn near hit that expiration. I'm telling you, when we look at who sold you this lie, man, I got a video calling out fathers that are raising independent women. You're raising daughters to fail. You the one supposed to be covering them. We got a lot of sorry fathers out here that don't that don't fear the most high y'all keep his word. Well, I'm raising my daughter to be independent. Well, you raising your daughter to go through every struggle on her own. The most high y'all had it where women are the most protected and provided for creatures on this earth. One being the father and then at marriage, you hand her off. As a father, you told her that crap wasn't wasn't necessary. You go out there and get you, you go out there and get you one, two, three, four degree. That's all you need. You go out there, you don't need no house with no man. You go buy, buy your own house. Just shut up. Bunch of worthless, sorry fathers. And then the then the mothers. Who the mothers? Oh, you you pouring this stuff into her. I know, I know what your daddy says. I know, I, I know he wants you to get married, and I know, I know, I know what the books say. Now you go out there and you you live your best life, girl. I I'm in here struggling, got to do this. And you didn't brainwash your daughters with this foolishness. And then here's the thing: a lot of a lot of these families, these these mothers, aunties that have lied to these women and helped condition them. Well, let's look at a lot of these women say that they're godly women. You take these young women to church, supposed to be getting the word, but you pouring everything in them outside the word so they fail. A lot of you women, you need to look at uh, your mother. I'm going to be honest with you, man. If your mother has not had success in a marriage, I'm going to be honest with you. You cannot take advice from her. If your mother is the head of household, Bible says the man is the head of the woman but if your mother is the head of the man you can't take advice from her you're surely going to suffer because guess what this generation of men is not like your father that sit back and just huh huh oh yes baby yes honey you know this generation of men no 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 they different they gonna let you they gonna let you drown in your loneliness, you've been programmed with this stuff. You, 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 these women have been trained to think that they don't have to put forth any effort, that they don't have to compete. You don't have to compete. Let me tell you something, man. You might be sitting up saying, Hey, man, I'm successful and I'm independent and I don't need no man. But the, the here they go to the cash register at Piggly Wiggly. She's like, I want a man. And my requirements is simple. I just need you to provide the necessities and I'm going I'm to fulfill my role to you. And we're going to be good. We're going to rock steady. Man, you got to think, man, these women are looking at some of their friends on social media that they went to high school with. And for so many years, for about a 10 year stretch, these independent women will say, man, you know what, man, I'm winning, man. I just got my masters, man. I just got my house. I just got my bins. So you look, 
you will look at what these other women is posting. Ooh, man, I'm glad I ain't got to take nobody to soccer practice. I'm glad I ain't got to do this. I'm glad I don't have to uh, be sitting there slaving over no pots for no man. You're going to tell yourself that for about 10 years. And let, 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 let 20, that 20 to 30 that you didn't spend your time hoeing and harloting around. Ooh, once that 30 hit, you're going to realize, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I've been bull jiving. Men are constantly telling you what they want out of a woman, and you kind you trying to tell men what they want. I know you want this, but this is this is what you really want. I wonder why ain't nobody picking you. Men are like what 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 person that wants help, you know, will turn around and say, "Man, I'm good. I don't need no help. I'm independent." You got independent women when they are struggling. Like, the only time they let go of their independence is when they struggling. Woman need help getting a TV in a car because she didn't think about the logistics. Got an 80 inch TV trying to fit into the back of a Mercedes C-Class. How come these men ain't helping me? Men used to be, back in my day, back in my, back in my grandparents' day, men used to help. Well, women wasn't as rebellious as they was. Marriages were thriving back then. See, I'm telling you, man, during the turn of feminization and urbanization, Women were sold this narrative. Black women. You got to understand, a lot of your homes are jacked up. These statistics of what your kids will be involved with, it, it, it's, it's a mindset. A lot of you women, I'm telling you, if you watch this and you have a man that's truly interested in you, you better let your doggone list of preferences go out the freaking window because you ain't got that many options. <laughs> You ain't got that many options. I'm telling you, you can, you might, don't let social media fool you. Don't let social media fool you just because you got all these men commenting on your photo. No, these men is raising their hand to try to knock you off. Increase your body count. These men is not trying to propose to you. And the older you get, the worse it's going to get. It's not until you got a modest and meek spirit. It's not until you know how to put the shut to the up. It's not until you actually bring value to a man to help him meet his mission, his purpose. That's what a help meet is. See, as an independent woman, a lot of you, you you're hoping for this house husband. You know, this, this stay-at-home house dad. You got the game jacked up. That's why you out there struggling. <laughs> why you out there struggling? I'm telling you, man. Women have been sold a bad bill of goods. And it's not until you repent and say, dang, bro, the people, dang, girl, the people that, that, that told me this was the people that said they love me. My own mama, my own daddy. I'm telling you, man, you got some women that go to college, leave with a husband. And you got some women that go to college, leave with a degree and a baby, no husband. You got to determine which one you want to be. I'm not saying educated an educated woman is a bad thing. It's not. But that's not the that's not the purpose of your life. Most how y'all ain't mentioned none of that. But yet, you didn't fell for the bait hook line and sinker. Closer to y'all ministries kicking it gun barrel straight.